24 Traffic Report is brought to you by CapitalDirect.ca. You know, from Bay Street to Main Street, boardrooms to dining rooms, sooner or later, just about every conversation these days circles back to affordable housing, supply and demand, price point, and especially rising mortgage rates. Here to distill the latest data is TREB President Kevin Krieger. Kevin, good morning and welcome back. Good morning, thank you. Well, let's uh, recap and begin with GTA September sales compared to August and year over year. So looking at obviously volume, we've seen a substantial decline in overall volume from September of 2021. So we are coming off of effectively a record year, but uh, at the same time, you know, a 44% reduction in overall sales volume obviously is substantial. One of the interesting elements obviously to look at is also the number of new listings. So new listings for September are at a 20 year low, um, which is, obviously incredibly interesting and somewhat concerning to see. So sales effectively are equating to a larger percentage of new listings, leading to tighter inventory conditions in the marketplace. Now, we are the big city, uh, the vertical city with more cranes uh, than anywhere else uh, comparable on the planet. What about condominiums? So condos generally have obviously fared better um, in this period of adjustment, largely based on their more affordable entry price point. Um, so we've certainly seen more activity in the condo space as opposed to the freehold space. And that's sort of evidenced by the difference in the home price index increase versus the average price decrease that we've seen. Yeah. How does the, uh, the MLS HPI, the home price index, sort of, you know, that formula factor into just about everything, including, you know, comparables in neighborhoods? So the HPI obviously compares more like to like properties, whereas average price obviously looks at the entire marketplace, the number of transactions, and the the overall average of the price points of prop, property sold. Mm -hmm. um, so when you see a period where, for example, more condominiums sell than larger freehold equivalents, you definitely see a difference in average price versus the home price index. Um, so the HPI gives a, a more robust review of uh, property types as part of the classification. And thanks to Chopper24 for those great live pictures of the city. Uh, Kevin, we're just weeks from a municipal election. Uh, Ipsos just had a poll for TREB. 71% of 416-905 residents feel municipal governments should focus more on supply and rent versus reducing demand. And I want to know more about GiveMeOptions.ca. So GiveMeOptions.ca basically outlines a, a number of key policy areas that voters should be looking at, obviously, as we go into the municipal elections. When we look at the Ipsos polling that was done, obviously a large percentage of Torontonians, more than 71%, really see that supply is the issue in the marketplace long term. And despite focus at a number of levels of government on demand suppression policies, we see that they haven't worked. So certainly looking at opportunities and potential policy objectives to increase supply is really going to be the key discussion point on a go-forward basis. Kevin Krieger, the president of TREB, the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board. Hey, where can people reach out to, to you for more? At TREB.ca. Kevin, always a pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you. Sonia, it's over to you. George,